Hi everyone, my name is Denise Walsh, Black Diamond Alita. Welcome to Tuesday Night Team Training Call. I am really excited to have you on with us tonight. And um, I have a question for all of you. Um, do we have anyone on this Zoom tonight who promoted last night? I wanna hear. Jenna, I see you. I'm gonna unmute you. All right, Jenna, tell us, a little, tell us what rank did you promote to last night? Oh, I just promoted the deals. Sorry. You promoted what? I just promoted the deals. I misunderstood. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> well, good job for doing that too. Woohoo! <laughs> How many of you promoted up the chain? How many of you broke a rank last night, last day of the month? Donna, let's see you. What did you promote to last night? I finally promote, promoted to executive. Woohoo! Congratulations, that's exciting. So tell everybody um, a quick, like what made last night different, last month different from months prior? Um, well, I just started in March. Um, so I've just so kept up. Finally, with, March, well, just a few months ago. Yeah, I just started in March. Awesome. And I just kept up with my volume and I just kept building from one month to the next until I was able to promote. I just kept pushing it. Awesome. 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 Well, congratulations. I mean, that's all it is, you guys. It's having your eyes on the target and then pushing every single month like it's the last day of the month. You know, your urgency is there, your excitement is there, and your volume is growing every single month. So, Anybody else? Who else promoted last night? Last day of the month. I didn't like prepare anyone for this, so I don't even really know who's on here. Anybody else wanna wanna brag on your story for a minute? You can just unmute yourself if you have anything you want to add. Robbie, I see you. I'm going to unmute you. See if she's still there. Where'd it go? Oh. Robbie, are you there? I'm here. Yay. So Robbie promoted to Ruby last night. Give her a round of applause. Good job. Everyone's clapping for you. Um, so tell us, Robbie, what made last night different? How did you know, than than a non promotion month. I think it was just after we did the June ten dollar sign up and Christy and I talked about how easy it would be for me to promote. I wanted to prove that I could and I did. So you made the decision. You made I did. the decision. And then you decided it was gonna be easy and fun. Well Yes, because I didn't think I could do it, but she did. So I guess I had to prove to myself that I could. Awesome. Awesome. Well, and I think that's half of it. Belief is half of the battle, you guys. If we don't believe we're going to do it, guess what? We're not. Um, and oftentimes we have to borrow somebody else's confidence before we get it ourselves. And that's just a part of the learning curve. So, Robbie, big congratulations to you for going Ruby last night uh, and you. for grabbing a hold of, of Christie's belief and, and just allowing yourself to run with it. Um, Thank you. You didn't quite get it. You know, you were like, I don't know how it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Amen. And Amen. You for it. Awesome. Yep, good. I did. Good work. Good work. Thanks. All right. Who else promoted last night? Anyone else want to share real quick? Promotion story. All right. Well, big congratulations to everybody who promoted, whether you're executive, Emerald, Diamond. Um, it is not for the faint of heart. It takes decision. It takes discipline. And honestly, it's the, um, oops, hold on. There you go, muting everyone again. Um, and, and it's that decision that's going to help you design the life of your dreams. And that's what we here at It Works are all about helping you do. We want you to decide the kind of life that you want to live for yourself and your family. And we want you to like have the path 
to follow in order to get there. Um, because today is August 1st, we are going to do a couple things today. Number one, we're going to help you dream a little bit. Get a little bit more clear about why you are here, the purpose of this business and your life. Um, and I be firmly believe that your purpose in life like, can be accomplished within your business or because of this business. So we're going to get a little bit more clear on what that means for you. And then we're going to talk about goal setting and accountability. One thing I've learned in my 10 years in this business is that my job is to basically be a consultant for you. I can be a cheerleader. I can help brainstorm ideas. Um, your upline, that's what they're there for. They can brainstorm. They can um, teach you what they're doing that has worked for success. But when a consultant goes into a business and provides feedback, brainstorming, maybe a plan, it's up to the business to put the plan into action. Like, for example, if you go see a counselor, um, they give you an action plan, ideas, brainstorming, but it's up to you to go do the work. And that's our job as, as supporters of you and your business. Our job is to kind of be that consultant. Our job is to cheerlead for you, is to help give you that path to follow. But at the end of the day, you are the one that will make or break yourself in this business. So let's talk a little bit about why you are here. I am going to give you an exercise and I want you to spend some time doing it right now. And then what we're gonna do is after um, the exercise, we're gonna go into breakout groups and you're gonna share that with your partners. So Elizabeth, I was a counselor before I did this too. Yay, good, yay for us. <laughs> I was a clinical psychologist for five years at our local community mental health. And I can tell you I'm having a lot more fun now and I'm helping a lot more people now <laughs> and it's it's awesome so anyway the exercise is I want you to write down like the sentence stem that I want you to complete is um, I want so I want you can think of 30 things you want to be 30 things you want to do 30 things you want to have just like I want I want I want I want what do I want it can be experiences, it can be things, you know, you want um, a safe car, you want a pool in your backyard, you want vacation, you want, what do you want? So I'm going to give you some time. I'm not going to talk the whole time, but I want you to spend time writing that down right now. And while you guys are writing, hopefully it's not too distracting, um, but while you're writing, I want Barb Hauser to share a little bit of her story because she, um, she shared with me that dreaming was really what catapulted her business to a whole nother level. And Elizabeth, to um, the sentence stem, for those of you who are asking is, I want. So you're basically just answering the question, I want. You can think of 30 things you want to be, 30 things you want to do, 30 things you want to have. That can be like a brainstorming cue for you. So Barb, all right. So you, um, you shared with us earlier, or shared with me earlier, that dreaming coming out of an event really catapulted your business and took it to a whole other level. So tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, I had been in the company for a few months when we went to our first conference and um, I was, you know, going through a lot of struggles with my husband not being supportive. Sorry, I hope it's not too loud for you guys here. Um, but, you know, when we got to conference, it really just opened our eyes and let us see what was possible with the company. And we realized that we'd never really dreamed in our entire life. Um, you know, we always just felt like we were never even going to be able to afford, you know, to pay for our kids' school and to become debt-free and all of those things had already been such a dream for us. And um, we went to conference and came home and on the way back, we sat on the plane together and decided to write like some big crazy dreams, you know. And it was so new for us that like sitting and trying to really think about what we wanted um, was hard, you know. So 
Like when you guys are dreaming, it's sometimes we tend to think so limited. And so opening that up and, you know, um, we set our goals for the year. And so this was January. We came back from conference and um, there had been like bonuses announced and all this crazy hype and really realizing what's possible with it works. We came home and he said, so what's your goal? And I said, well, you know, I'm double diamond now. So obviously triple diamond's going to be my goal. And I remember we had sat around with people on our team and um, one of my leaders, Addie Carter, she, you know, she just was such a big dreamer. And she sat there and said, I'm going ambassador. So we came back from conference and I'm saying, my goal is to go triple diamond. And I remember my husband who had been so unsupportive before conference now saying, you know, Barb, you really need to like stretch yourself. You need to stretch your goals um, because there's bonuses on the table. Like if your goal is triple diamond by the end of the year, you're going to miss the bonuses. Don't you think you should be going for triple diamond by, you know, the end of the bonuses? And I was still new and I was thinking like, I don't, that just sounds crazy. I don't think I can do that. And I remember him saying like, you know, you have to stretch your goals. And I'd heard that before. And I was like, okay, you know what? You're right. What's it going to hurt if I put it out there and I try? Like, what's the worst that's going to happen? So I was like, okay, well, I'll aim to go triple diamond by March, you know, to get that triple diamond bonus. And, um, and so then he was like, okay, well, what's your goal for the end of the year then? And I was like, well, triple diamond, like, you know, in case I don't get there by March. And he was like, no, you got to go presidential by the end of the year. And it was one of those like stretching exercises where you felt that pull and like it scared me to death to think about putting it out there. And so the morning after we got back, after writing, after writing down the goal of triple diamond, it was the next morning when I woke up that he's telling me, you know, you've got to go for presidential for the end of the year. And he had written out each of those goals that I wrote down on big sheets of paper and had this crazy idea for us to make this silly video. So we did this video of me like claiming all of those goals and like literally pinning them to his chest and saying what I was going to do. And then we posted that. And that was like one of the most terrifying moments of my life. But I knew I needed to, if I wanted to inspire my team, I needed to lead from the front and I needed to like cast a big vision like you always, you know, have done for us, Denise. And that was something I was like, okay, you know, we'll put it out there. And guys, what ended up happening was that we achieved every single thing that we put on our dream board that year. And not only did I go triple diamond by March, I went presidential in March. So we totally blew our expectations out of the water. We proved that when you dream big and you just pursue those crazy goals that seem unrealistic and you know you could never do it, something changes inside of you when you put that accountability behind your dreams and you tell other people about them. So, you know, that would be one of my biggest pieces of, of advice for you guys, because, you know, if you have a dream, you know, foster it, let it grow, nurture it. Like, don't think small, because honestly, what is possible with this company is mind blowing. And what it's done for us in four years, like I can't even imagine anything else in life that could change me as a person and impact my family and you know, give us memories and allow us to give back and all of the crazy things that this business will allow you to do. You know, it is scary to let your mind go and think that it's possible here. But when you dream big and you really just embrace that, it's crazy what you start to attract towards you. And, you know, dreaming is like really kind of like your mindset. It's got to be, you know, big and positive and expecting the best. And that's what we attract towards us if we, if we go for it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Barb. And another plug for all events within four to six hours from you. Um, any corporate event that corporate puts on in Florida, like get there because that's where you will catch that vision of the company, of yourself, of the products. Um, so make sure that you're going to the Wired app and plugging into those events because that's a lot of where my belief came from as well. So when you're writing down your wants, I hope you're still writing. Keep writing. I want you to remember that money is no limitation. Money is not even a thing in your dreams. So don't put a cap on yourself based on what's realistic or based on um, what's normal. Um, even things like what your family expects or doesn't expect, whether your family went to college or not, doesn't dictate whether you do 
whether your family is, lives in debt or not doesn't dictate what you choose to do. So it's like free reign. Any sort of limitation or barrier is not relevant in this exercise. What do you want? 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 Now, remember, I'm not saying I don't want. I don't want this. What's interesting about this is, here's an example. Picture or so, don't picture your grandma naked in a shower. What'd you guys just do? Most of you pictured your grandma naked in the shower. So what happens is, is even if you say don't in front of it, that's a word that your brain does not hear. And like if you say don't be in debt, your brain hears be in debt. Okay, so we're not saying I don't want, you know, you're saying I do want. So instead of saying um, I don't want debt, you say I want to be debt free. Rearrange all of them so that you're saying I want because I don't want is still focusing on, like they say, you, you become what you think about, like you, you're always getting what you truly want. So if you're saying I don't want something, you're still focusing on it. So that's why you're gonna get it. Awesome, good job. All right, I'm gonna give you one more minute and then we're gonna break into groups. Awesome, I love the ones you're putting out. Get specific too. So if you wanna be debt free, how much do you wanna pay off? If you want a condo in Florida, where in Florida? How big is it? How many bedrooms? If you want a vacation um, to Disney World, when? How long is your trip? Awesome. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and, and it might not be, uh, you might not be done, but that's okay. You'll have a bit of a list. So I'm gonna break you into groups of three or four. And I'm gonna give you about five minutes, five to six minutes to go through your I want list with each other. What this is gonna do is just like with Barb and her husband, this is gonna give you a, going to give you a space to speak it out loud. And we don't have the ability with over 100 people here tonight to all share with the entire group. But what these breakouts do is it allows you to speak it out loud to um, now an accountability group, you know, where they, you can friend each other on Facebook afterwards. You can keep each other accountable. You can ask each other questions, but we're gonna do it a little differently. So what I want you to do in the breakout rooms is pretend like you're 89, 90 years old. You've been taking the It Works products for a long time. You look good. You have tons of energy, no wrinkles, right? Yeah. And um, you're sitting in your rocking chair, just like enjoying the afternoon. And you have uh, a couple grandchildren, great grandchildren sitting at your feet. And they're asking you questions about your life because they know that you are full of wisdom. To be honest, there's a picture of you over in your family, your husband, your spouse, whatever, over the mantle because your dedication and hard work changed the trajectory of your family. So your great grandchildren know who you are because they know that um, the work that you put in, the dreams that you had, the belief that you had in yourself and in your dreams actually didn't just change your life, but it changed theirs. So they are sitting at your feet and they're asking you questions and you're just reminiscing with them. 
So every single I want has now turned into a I remember. So I remember when I had a new house by the end of 2017. I remember when I got my dream home complete with five acres and a pool with chickens, horses, gardens. I remember, right, when I took my whole family on a Disney cruise for seven days in May of 2018. I remember the first time I did, I took um, our team on a transformational cruise in uh, December of 2017, and it was so much fun. So Caitlin, you're gonna need to switch that. I want you to decide who you want to be like. Not focus on who you don't want to be like. Focus on who do you want to be. Find someone you want to be like, and, and that's what you want. Okay? Does anybody have any questions? So I'm going to give you five, six minutes. You can each go through. Um, maybe if you don't feel comfortable sharing all of them, don't feel like you need to. But pick at least five to ten that you can share with your group. And I will call you back. If you've never used these breakout rooms, they're super cool. And you're gonna, and what you can do in case you need help um, is you can actually call, like you can raise your hand and I will come and answer questions in each room. <laughs> it's kind of cool. So, all right, I'm gonna create these rooms. And let's share. You should have something pop up on your screen that says join. Amanda, do you have, does it say something like join the meeting? I just want to make sure it's working. I see leave meeting, but I don't see anywhere to join. Because it says you have not joined. Do you see anything where it says join breakout room? No. All right. I'm going to. I'm going to add you to another <laughs> I know it. Okay. I mean, I've done it before. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why you're not getting it. Yeah, um, I just went through all the little things to see if I went to full screen or max. I don't see nothing. Okay. Um, all right, so if you didn't get put in a breakout room for some reason, and you're still here and you can hear me, then, hold on a second. I am trying to, hold on, people are asking for help, so I'll be right back. Hello?
Hi there. Asked for help? Yeah, there's, there's not, there won't be time to go to that one and go to Target. So we're, we're going home. We'll go to Target, then we'll go to the bank. Kia? Kia? Could you hear yes, me? can you hear me? Yes. Are yeah. you in a private meeting? What's that? So are you in a private meeting? I just, we just um, broke into breakout groups. So you are in a breakout group with Julie. Okay, all right, thank you. Did you miss the, what we were talking about? Yes, I was late coming in. Okay. Um, Julie, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, what am, you are here, Julie? Yeah, I'm hey, here. Julie. Okay, so what you guys are doing is you are talking about your I want list. So you're creating, um, what we did before we started was we created a, list of um things that you want okay and now you're reading that list using the words i remember okay okay i remember so instead of like i want you're saying i remember okay so, Julie, so do you I, have your list i do all right Okay. All right. So you guys can go ahead and um, and read that list to each other. Okay. And I'm gonna bring someone else in this here. In this, um, you guys aren't showing up. Here we go. All right, Destiny, are you there? Hey, Destiny. I just assigned Destiny to this group too. So okay. people are like joining and not joining. So I'm going to let you guys um, work through your I remembers. And in a few minutes, I'll bring everybody back together. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Julie, Destiny, are you there? This is it. Oh, Julie's not here anymore. Shoot. Okay. Destiny, Destiny, are you there? <laughs> I might have lost my group. I know. Shoot. Okay. Kia, I'll move you somewhere else, and we'll see if this works. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>